In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we celebrate the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Master praises the steward in today's parable, not for being dishonest, but for being clever. The Lord is asking us, you see how resourceful the children of this world are. Would you, the children of light, be as capable as they are? We have to be wise and clever with the things of the world in order to survive today. Can we not be just as wise and clever in matters of the spirit, in the acquisition of treasures that last forever? Brothers and sisters, as we come together thanking God for the gifts that we receive from Him, especially the gift of life, certainly we also come in order to pray. A lot of people are asking for our prayers, and we ourselves need prayers, especially for our own personal needs, for our loved ones, and certainly we include our community and our country. So let us now make ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. Once again, let us be reconciled with one another and with our God. As we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I have, have done, done and in, in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Amos, the prophet of social justice, castigates those who enrich themselves by exploiting the poor and the lowly, profiting especially from religious ways. Days. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy, and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask? 
that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath we may display the wheat. We will diminish the ephah, add to the shekel, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly for silver, and the poor for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. The Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, never will I forget a thing they have done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord who lifts up the poor. Praise the Lord. Praise ye servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Praise the Lord who lives up the poor. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high? and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. Praise the Lord who lifts up the poor. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. Praise the Lord. The Apostle Paul encourages the believers to offer prayers to God through Jesus Christ, the mediator between humanity and God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, there is also one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this, I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth. I am not lying teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish then that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Though our Lord Jesus Christ was rich, he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, 
What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to him, What shall I do now that my master is taking the possession of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from this stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's leaders one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another, the steward said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred cores of wheat. The steward said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commended that this honest stewards for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. I tell you, make friends for yourselves with this honest dwells, so that when it fails, you will be welcome into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If, therefore, you are not trustworthy with a dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and Mammon. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Meron tayong kasabihan sa Diyos ang awa sa tao ang gawa. Ano ibig sabihin? Na tayo mismo ang gagawa sa kung saan tayo gusto pupunta. Kung ano ang gusto natin mangyari sa ating buhay. God is not giving dole outs. We have to work. We have to strive in our life. If you still remember when Adam and Eve committed disobedience to God, God reminded Adam that out of your Sweat, you will eat. Kailangan kumayod ka. Kailangan magpapawis ka upang mabuhay ka. God wants us to be saved. God wants us to enjoy eternal life, certainly. Paano? Paano tayo maligtas? Ginawa na ng Diyos ang lahat para makapasok muli tayo sa langit. Sinakripisyo na ng Diyos ang kanyang kaisa-isang anak, ang ating Paninginong Kristo upang 
maging ransom sa ating mga kasalanan. Nagpakatao ang anak ng Diyos upang maramdaman niya at makita ng tao kung ano ang dapat gawin. Kaya, anong ginawa ng ating Panginoon? Our Lord is so very observant sa mga gawain ng tao, sa mga ginagawa natin, kung paano tayo maligtas sa kahirapan, lalong-lalo na sa mga may matataas na posisyon, katulad sa ating Ibanghelyo, kung paano maligtas ng sarili niya itong steward na binigyan ng pagkakataon ng kanyang master sa kanyang mga ari-arian. Ginamit ng ating Panginoon ito. Hindi upang gawin ang kanyang pandaraya sa kanyang master. Ngunit upang gawin yung kakayahan na mabuhay siya. Hindi upang gawin ang mga kapahamakan na ginawa niya dito sa mundo. Ngunit gawin ang lahat-lahat ng paraan para mailigtas. Ginawa ng steward ang kaligtasan. Ginawa niya lahat upang maligtas lamang siya. Natakot siya. Hindi niya kaya magtrabaho, mag-isa. Nahiya siya. Humingi, magpakilimos. Nahiya siya. Kaya anong ginawa niya? Tinawag niya. Yung mga may utang sa kanyang amo. At alam po natin tayo mga Pilipino, ang isa sa mga witnesses natin, yung tinatawag natin na utang na loob at itong ginamit, itong steward, utang na loob. So tinawag niya ang lahat na may utang sa kanyang amo. Yung isa, 50, anong ginawa niya? Kalahati. Yung isa, 100, anong ginawa niya? 80. Eh, kung ikaw naman ang may utang, di ba? Utang na loob mo yan eh. Nabinawasan yung utang mo. So, may utang na loob ka sa tao na gumawa nito. Kung that matter, sabi nga ng steward, kapag maalis na siya sa trabaho niya, meron siyang pupuntahan na pamilya. Meron siyang hihingan. Hindi siya mawala. Ito yung tinuturo sa atin ng ating Panginoon. In order to regain our life after sinning, especially after Adam and Eve sin, we are allowed to do everything we can in order to gain again eternal life. Meron tayong mga paraan eh. Meron tayong mga paraan upang mabuhay. Kaya lang, ang gusto ng Panginoon sa mga paraan na gagamitin natin ay hindi upang pahirapan yung ibang mga tao. Hindi ba? Kuminsan, siguro, nasa attitude na natin yan na ayaw tayo maghirap. So, 
sa madaling paraan kinagawa. Pandaraya, corruption, cheating, yun. Kasi madali eh. Pero hindi natin alam na madali din mawala. And this injustices, this swindling and corruption is being even condemned by the prophet Amos in our first reading. Yung pinahirapan, yung mga mahihirap, yung dinadaya ang mga timbangan, tinimbang ngunit kulang. Di ba, uso ngayon yan sa atin? Utaguan ng mga supplies kasi hinihintay kapag maubos na yung ibang supplies, eh siyempre, dadagdagan mo ang presyo. Hindi ba pahirap yun sa mga mahihirap? Yayaman ka dahil sa mahihirap. And God condemn that kind of attitude. God is not happy for that. When God gave us the riches of the world, God wanted us to use to become rich. It's not sinful. Riches is not sin. But rather, itong kayamanan na binibigay sa atin ng Diyos, binigyan niya upang gamitin sa kapakanan ng mga nangangailinga na nangangailangan hindi para lamang sa pansariling kapakanan no and that is why before god made man god prepared everything in this world everything in order for man to survive. Yun ang pinakadahilan upang we will be saved. Kaya naman, gamitin natin ang anumang binigay ng Diyos sa atin. After all, ang lahat-lahat na sa atin ay galing sa Diyos. Di ba? Ano bang galing sa inyo? Ay yung buhay, saan galing sa Diyos? Ay yung tatay, yung nanay, yung lahat sa pamilya, lahat ng pagkain, yung bahay, yung kayamanan, saan galing? Galing sa Diyos. Isa lang yung hindi galing sa Diyos, ang ating kasalanan. Tayong gumawa nyo, hindi ang Diyos. Kaya mga kapatid, sikapin natin, gamitin sa lahat-lahat ng magandang paraan ang ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos. We are all stewards, caretaker ng pag-aari ng Diyos. Huwag tayo maging sakin. Huwag tayo maging greedy. Huwag nating kamkame ng lahat. Ibahagi natin at yun. Kapag marunong ka magbigay, hindi ka tatantana ng Diyos. Paramihin ang sa iyo upang ikaw maging instrumento ng kanyang pagka-generosity. God is so generous and we cannot outdone the generosity of God. Kaya, subukan natin, gawin natin sa Diyos ang awa, sa tao ang gawa.
We all stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I and look forward, forward to the resurrection of the dead, dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Almighty Father, through your Son's incarnation, ministry, passion, and death, and resurrection, you enable us to realize and respond to our true dignity as your adopted children. Help us stay true to the gift and responsibility as we say, Father, Help us share in the richness of your kingdom. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. May your church remain a steady channel of your grace as we strive to become truly a foretaste of the riches of your kingdom here on earth in our different charisms and ministries. We pray. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. Guide our national and local leaders so that they may make present the richness of your kingdom in the dialogues they foster and engage in and through the policies they make. Help them in their work for the common good and care for a common home. We pray. Father, help us to share in the richness of your kingdom. Lift all of us gathered today from the different sufferings we face day by day. Heal and sustain us physically mentally, emotionally, financially, and spiritually, so that despite the sufferings, we may fully strive to become a reflection of the richness of your kingdom, we pray. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. Embrace those who have gone before us. Let our dearly departed enjoy your kingdom in its full richness and glory, we pray. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We include the intentions of this Mass, the intentions of uh, those who are celebrating the birthday today or their anniversaries. We pray. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. Loving Father, you did not leave us to wallow in our wretchedness and misery and sent your only begotten Son to make us realize that in your spirit we too have become your children. Make us actively participate in your mission of communion and redemption to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through the heavenly mysteries. To Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, O God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. Through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis' assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father, St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him are in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, be there to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with the sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022, Sunday. Novena Masses will start this coming Friday, September 23, 2022. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt, or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org, 
for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Likewise, I would like to thank each and every one, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Eucharistic celebration. Let us continue praying for one another. Pandemic is not yet over, so please keep safe. Please uh, pray also for our frontliners here in the mind of Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Maraming, maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Bestow increase of heavenly grace in your faithful, O Lord. May they praise you with their lips, with their souls, with their lives. And since it is by your gift that we exist, may our whole lives be yours. To Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember the names of your loved ones who are sick. Uh, mention their names while we are pray praying this prayer for them. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Show be kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>